Well, hey guys, what's going on? Dale here. I just want to do a quick little update video here for you. To show you what I've been up to. Uh, I tried to do a video there last Sunday, but for some reason I got cut off like at four minutes, so I had to take it down. Um, not much been going on here. I finished, I don't know if you've seen, if any of you have seen the four minutes I had up or not, but uh, I uh, finished up a Merc kit here. Uh, like I said in that video, uh, Butch was getting a little burnt out on uh, doing all his all out builds and uh, I was having a little hard time getting going again on them so he had a Merc kit and I had one and we decided hey we'll do them uh, let's build them together we'll just do them box stock so that's what we ended up doing uh, this is my version of the Merc uh, it's just all box stock uh, nothing special um, just a little detail painting on the inside there. Um, let's get this open here. Just did a little detail painting on the engine bay. Nothing special. Uh, shot this with nail polish. Uh, this is my first time using my airbrush, well, my actual airbrush with the compressor. Uh, I did shoot uh, a chopper kit with, uh, not that one there, but another one with uh, nail polish. But I used the aerosol can with the bottle attachment in the end of it. Um, it worked fine for that because you basically only have a tank and a couple of fenders. Actually, I only did a tank and a fender with it. Worked fine for that. Works fine for small parts. I still use that for small parts, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it for doing anything like this. But yeah, this is my first uh, go with the airbrush on a complete build. I'll flip it over here. Nothing special. It's just a little detail painting. As you can see, that piece there, I broke that piece. I should have cut it out and put a new piece in there, but since this is box stock and it's just going on my shelf, I tried to glue it a couple of times, but uh, no, nah, it just wouldn't take. So, I, uh, I'm not a I'm a pure hobby builder. I don't build for shows or competitions or anything like that. So, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, it's just going on my shelf. But anyhow, that's my uh, version of the Merc kit. Uh, it's a very good kit, very, very well made kit. Um, the only thing is, I'm not a Merc guy. Uh, don't like Mercs. I do like uh, lead sleds. Um, I did a 50 Olds as a lead sled, and I have a Chrysler 300B that I plan on doing as a lead sled, but. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the of the Merc, the actual car. But uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, what else going on? Uh, I got the truck back over on the bench here. I uh, just been picking away at that a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to get back on them once they've sat for so long and they've gone stale on you. Uh, it's hard to get back into them. But uh, that's the uh, the chassis that I threw together for it. Um, thinking I may just finish off the body, do the cab, get that all finished off, and uh, I may just box it up, put it away for a while. There's still some work to be done on the chassis. I still have a motor to throw in it, uh, interior to do. So, um, I'd really like to finish it off and put it on the shelf, but like I said, it's hard to get going on them again. I have the 49 over there. Uh, I'd like to get back onto that. 
but uh, another project jumped up and kind of caught my interest. Uh, I've got the Impala over there. Just have it mocked up here. Just been playing with it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think I may do this one. Uh, this is going to be another pretty well box stock build. Um, not really going to uh, do too much to this. Uh, may do a little suspension work and get it sitting the way I want and uh, may wire it up. But other than that, it's going to be pretty much box stock. Uh, what else we got going on? I uh, got a new purchase. I picked up that uh, 116th scale Nomad. I plan on doing that uh, later on down the road. That may be an all out build for me. I might, uh, might pick up some aftermarket stuff for it over time and once I get all the stuff in that I want I'll uh, go crazy on it um, what else do I got going on uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, I sat and watched the hangout last night with uh, Skyler and young model master and Clifton and and the guys it was a good time it's a good uh, good hangout uh, maybe I'll uh, jump in and join one join in on it one of these one of these Fridays uh, I'll show you what else I got uh, just got a little prototype down here it's my paint booth area uh, I did have um, a spray booth there by that window and, and uh, we're still getting a lot of uh, overspray dust the wife was complaining a little bit um, even though I'm in the unfinished part of the basement here it's we still have some common stuff down here We've got deep freeze and more storage for canned goods and that and the washer and dryer so there's they were still getting dust around that I didn't realize but uh, I come up with this little prototype here uh, I just had some painter's plastic left over, so I made some walls with that. Um, just to see if it was going to work out. And let me take you inside here, I just left one side open. And I just used some clips there to fold it over and clip it closed. But this is my little paint room now. As you can see, I did the ceiling. I uh, made a new uh, spray booth here. I got 280 CFM fans now. And they're piped up to the window. I just slide the window over, put the board in, slide it back uh, against it. And this is... Uh, working out really well. Uh, I'm not getting any overspray dust anywhere or anything. It's actually cut down on the smells. Uh, so I may end up tearing these down and going with uh, the industrial uh, type plastic. The heavier gauge clear stuff that uh, the carpenters use and redo it with that. Uh, there's my airbrush, there's a badger airbrush. Um, comes with a, the other cup there. I have another one there. Badger, same one. Uh, you're probably wondering what I'm doing with that. Um, I was in a local parts store, Princess Auto, and seen these were on clearance for $13.99, so I grabbed it. I said I couldn't pass it up for $13.99. Uh, so I had that plugged in. 
and fired up and was, was playing with it and it uh, surprisingly it works really really well it'll come in handy for large scale kits um, that's my compressor down there but yeah that's my little paint booth area I'll show you, I did a couple of test pieces here with some, just some junky old paint that I had with the mini paint gun. It turned out pretty good. Uh, it was just uh, some fast color Lexan paint that uh, it was on clearance that I picked up just for playing around with because it's the stuff is already airbrush ready so uh, I probably wouldn't use it to do an actual model but I use it to uh, play around in the airbrush but anyhow guys that's all my update I'll try and see if I can get this thing uploaded you guys all take care and we'll catch you again